What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about how to have a balanced aquarium and uh, have no algae in your aquarium. So um, to have a balanced aquarium, you need you need to have a balance between nutrients, dirt, or uh, substrate, whatever you're using, um, fertilizer, if you fertilize, and lighting, and if you use CO2, CO2. You need to have a balance between all of those. So let's say you have a really high um, high nutrient substrate and you're dosing all the time. You want to have higher amounts of light. So 8 to 10 hours depending on how nutrient rich uh, soil and uh, fertilization you have. Um, especially if you have CO2. If you have CO2 you definitely, be, uh, you definitely want to run um, high nutrients and high lighting if you have high CO2. So let's say you have no light you have like zero light basically just really low light then you're gonna wanna go not much nutrients and no CO2 because if you do you'll get algae and then if you're running uh, basically no light and no nutrients no CO2 you're gonna wanna grow plants like moss, anubias, java fern um, you can also go to my hardy species um, playlist but even with that uh, with with not much lighting, you're not going to be able to get away with a lot of the plants even on that hardy species playlist. Um, so it's just kind of like a balancing thing. Like if if, if you have high nutrients, uh, you want high light and you want maybe some CO2. Like I'm not running CO2 on any of my tanks. Um, I could, but then I'd want to bump up my lighting and possibly want to start fertilizing because I don't fertilize much either. Um, so I hope that made sense. It's just like I can't really explain every every single possibility because there's just too many variables. Like if if you guys have questions about your tank, just comment down below. Um, but I mean, it's just it's kind of like common sense, you know. Like if you like you don't want to have uh, high CO2 levels if you barely have any light and nutrients, because like the way it works is. So your light is the driving focus for growing plants because that's what drives photosynthesis. So as soon as the light turns on, the plants know, hey, we got to photosynthesize. So the next thing that they use in the tank is CO2 because that's part of, part of photosynthes uh, photosynthesizing. But since I have a high nutrient substrate, which um, allows it to have uh, more potassium, you know, more clay and whatnot to give it those greens to help photosynthesize better. I don't need as much CO2, therefore I don't need CO2. Um, so, I mean, it, it can get kind of complicated, but it doesn't really need to be. Um, like right now I'm running, I think, nine hours. Yeah, nine hours on my lighting, and I have high nutrient substrate. You don't really need CO2, guys. Um, but, I, I, I mean, I could be using it right now if I wanted to and I'd be getting more growth but as you can see I'm getting great growth without it so um hope I didn't uh, confuse you guys but I it's kind of the basic concept um if you have any questions uh, comment down below and uh, if you're new to my channel subscribe later